Alright guys, so let's get started. Now for this, I'm using a 50 pound test uh, Power Pro braid and I'm putting 15 pound Cigar Red Label onto it. I've already got my braid spooled on my reel and so what you want to do is take your braided line here, let me scoot up take your braided line stick it in your mouth okay, not going to do that yet so I can talk easier and then get maybe six or to a foot of your fluorocarbon or whatever line you're using and grab it stick your braid in your mouth okay cross it so it makes like an X I hope y'all can see that it makes kind of an X like that okay and then you're basically wrapping it ten times on each side and it goes like one one two two three three four four and so on so, let me get started with that. Let me point the camera down. So, one. Hold on, I want to have some tightness in your line. Okay, so I do. Alright guys, so there's our knot this at this point. So now I wanna grip the knot, make sure it doesn't come loose. Okay? You can take the braid out of your mouth. And you wanna get the end the end of the floor carbon, the tag end, and uh, the braid that goes to your rod and hold those together, okay? Then you want to get the tag end of the braid, okay? And get that and make a simple hinge knot. So put a loop and stick that braid through there. Pull it nice and tight. And that just keeps everything down. So right now, back it off. There's our knot right there. And it's tight, man. This. This knot holds. Okay, so now, and cut the tag end of your floor carbon. Let me do that here. So tag end of the floor carbon. Get your scissors. Cut that as close as you can, but leave just a little bit. Okay, so you got that. And then, I like doing one more hitch knot just to protect that little little centimeter of floor carbon right there just to protect it so let me get back in the camera just do one more little hitch knot hold on that one kind of there we go did one more hitch knot and that protects that that is totally there's no way the floor carbon inside of this knot is going to get messed up. No way. Okay, so we got that all done right there. So that's how you do it, guys. Um, cut this little tag end off here. And uh, that's how I do it. It works great. Um, I've only had it break one time. And it was the first time I did it, and I wasn't good at it, and um, it, it broke when I set the hook. But that doesn't happen a lot, and I just keep practicing. Like I'll just um, sit in my basement and just practice tying it and tying it until it gets really, really strong. So you just have to keep at it, and it's the best way to um, 
to uh, connect uh, fluorocarbon or any type of like monofluorocarbon copolymer to um, break. And um, I think that's the best way to do it. Um, y'all can find out for yourself. But hope this helped y'all because I know it's hard knowing what kind of knot to uh, use. And um, if you need some extra help with this knot, I would uh, recommend um, watching Fluke Master's video on it. That's how I learned. And um, hope you all have a great day. And uh, tell your friend about my channel. And um, hopefully I can help y'all catch some more bass. See y'all next time.